I picked up a Blue Lab monitor over the winter to monitor my tower garden, and it stopped working about a month ago, and um, I contacted them. Actually, it wasn't just the pH kind of wasn't working right, and uh, I was kind of like locking up, and then periodically it would just not go on. You'd unplug it, plug it back in. It just wouldn't go on so i contacted them and they ended up uh swapping out um the monitor with a brand new one so i was gonna show you how um, this thing gets calibrated um, it has a uh, standard calibration for most ph meters you put it into the um, a solution that blue lab supplies which is a uh, 7.0 solution and calibrate that first and then you rinse off the probe put it into some clean water and then uh, put it into the uh, 4.0 solution which then gives it that uh, that range this monitor uh, also has a, a USB uh, dongle that you can plug into your computer and um, be able to pick up uh, some basic information I was hoping it would have been a little bit um, uh, elaborate, but it's a pretty basic connect system. Um, all you really get to see is uh, what's currently on your monitor. So, I mean, you can't even like change your TDS to your PPM or your uh, temperature. It's um, basically pretty much set. Oh, and it also just reads, I think, like every uh, 15 minutes or uh, it's it's very basic. It does have local and cloud data logging capability, um, so you can track that with um, their, their cloud, and it, uh, it is free. You do need a, a Google uh, account, and um, it can uh, update the data um, through, via Google Docs. So you basically just set up a Google Docs spreadsheet, and uh, it logs that data. The probe cables on this are, uh, both of them are two meters long, so six and a half feet each. Um, I originally had my expansion tank a lot closer to my, uh, to, uh, my electronics, so um, I knew I'd be able to have the meter protected in my top box with my timer and be able to just drop both of the probes into um, the expansion tank, but um, I ended up moving my expansion tank down uh, closer to the end of the uh, the line, and they're too far now. So I'm not quite sure what I'm going to do to uh, get this monitor protected in there. I don't know if I'm able to buy some uh, longer cables or what I'm going to do with that yet, but. Um, just be aware those those are really only six and a half feet which is probably sufficient for most people but it would have been nice if uh, the uh, the total dissolved solid and temperature gauge um, wasn't fixed you can see that um, uh, the pH meter at least has that uh, quick disconnect uh, it's like a BX connector or something um, so I could probably get an extension for that, but that other one is, is fixed, so you're, you're stuck at that six and a half feet. The unit also has a uh, flashing high and low alarms, so if you wanted to set a uh, high and low limit for um, you know your pH or your uh, total dissolved solids, you, you could do that in order uh, to give you a visual, but uh, I mean, I, th I think most users, after you've uh, had a garden for a little while. I already know what numbers are <laughs> within or outside of your tolerance, so I'm not quite sure what the alarms would be good for. Um, you know, unless you were the the, uh, the connect piece was able to actually send that data, and so you could actually like have a a notification on your phone, which is really would have been convenient. But like I said, the uh, the functionality of the connect side by default out of the box I mean you could probably do some customization especially using the Google Docs and setting up your own alerts but um, they haven't uh, they haven't done that themselves yet overall though this is a pretty nice unit um, 
you know, it's nice being able to have your total dissolved solids, your temperature, and your pH all in one unit. Uh, it just would have been nice if they uh, expanded on the uh, the connectivity and the, the data, remote data logging. I know there's a couple other tools out there I'm probably going to take a look at and uh, see if it might be a better fit. But um, i got to say their customer service was excellent in uh, taking care of me on dealing with the, the unit that did go bad and uh, getting me out of another unit so um, that was uh, that was nice to see not enough companies do that these days